You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Hello everybody out there at YouTube land, my name is Dead Chaos, and welcome back to Telltale's Batman, the brave and the bold outlines, and last time we left Bruce, Icky Vicky stuck us with an icky sticky stick that's making us see icky sticky things. Oh god. Cobblepot's got the company. What is this place? We kept Catwoman out of our belfry. Get out. Breakfast. And now Where we're incarcerated. Oh. For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds. <laughs> doctor. What doctor? And now we are stuck in a technicolor phobia. Let's take a survey of the security around this place. I wonder where we are. Probably not an insane asylum. I probably didn't try to beat Cobblepot's brains in. I hope we succeeded though. Arkham Asylum. Yep. This can't be happening. Oh, it can. If we're gonna have the worst possible universe for Batman ever, it's gonna have to end up being one that ends that him up in Arkham. Blood? God, I hope it's mine. <laughs> in a situation where you see blood and you hope it's yours, can't be a good situation. Yep, there's the option for putting on my lovely spandex. It's not this quite the be real. bat onesie, but while you're busy being crazy, I'm gonna do a little bit of the voicing for ya. Huh. I wonder if we someone was angry. Beat our head in with that. Lovely. See, we have no idea if, if we did this to the room or if it just came like this. One star. Wouldn't come again. Yeah, of course we don't have the option of leaving willy nilly. And it would seem. Decent. I'm as decent as they come. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. I want a lawyer. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his Yay! life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. You've got a horrible bedside manner. And this drug is keeping me from using my bat powers. Of course, my bat senses also are As tingling. You were. For that tingler that he's back You just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Let Sorry. me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Don't know any of you. Somebody's gotta pay for that. How much you want? I hope to God there is a hell. I uh, want your daddy to see what I do. Silence. Not gonna say anything. You'll join them soon enough, Wayne. I am not gonna provoke them! This is some awesome effects, though! I am living in my own Willy Wonka Wonderland right now, where everything's the color of the rainbow and hurts like heck. Oh, I'm tripping! Oh! Oh, in the neck? Uh, you like this? The welcoming committee has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? <laughs> what, what the <laughs> Churlish. Ooh. Not nice. Churlish. How do you like it? You are pathetic. You're my new best friend. <laughs> I don't know who he is. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? Are you, you don't okay? Look so grand. More like the opposite. Uh, but thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? <laughs> right. What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, right. is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. No, he's lying! Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no-fighting policy here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, 
You're going to find yourself in hot water fast. I could use a hot the water bath right now. Was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to well, keep you Well, how slow are the cameras in here? But I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything Yeah, I appreciate happens. it. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. <laughs> I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. Leland. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, Thank you. follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. He doesn't have one. <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You act so surprised. Let's call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really good Joker right there. Oh, sorry, spoilers. This guy's a real clown. A clown about town. The clown prince of crime. Maybe not so in this universe. He's no Mark Hamill, but he'll do. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! Yeah, well, he said, I wanted my room strictly in black and very, very dark gray. You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. So you're, you're moving to the left. I can't stop you. I want a taste! You gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. The game is forcing my hand. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well... <laughs> yeah... No, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me! You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> and the staff don't have Stop cell phones? That guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this! Wrong. <laughs> you I'll should have called 411. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. I'm gonna take good care of him. This is my favorite episode so far, just because I love the Joker so much. Or John Doe. Episode 4. A new hope. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. Guardian of Gotham. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. Oh, I know those two. A little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, Bruce! Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Hey, that's the guy trying to win the president. On the couch, that's St. Louis. <laughs> Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Ooh. Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Who won? Ooh, Sparkling personality. I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Use your sick little imagination, Bruce. 
No one in here likes you. Billy! Hey, where you going, Billy? I know the president personally. Or, you know, the governor. Billy? Billy's a ghost! You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, Wait, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Huh. That's the way the That's nice. Rumbles. Very, uh, literary in your use of terms. Of course, I passed right through you, so I guess I'm not bothering you whatsoever. Oh, my little Scarface friend here. Oh, Zombo. That man really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. I solved the cookie riddle. Uh, sorry. Huh. Sorry. It's, it's just, it, it's Give him the key? Voice. It's driving me nuts. Should I earn favors here or s stay on John Doe's good side? I want to talk to you, Wesker. You're missing your little puppet friend, aren't you? Hello. Have to deal with a sock. Hello? Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. <laughs> uh, well, there's no timing on this one, so maybe I should ask about the key? Any idea what this opens? Did John give you that key? Not this again. Wait, Does he give everyone right a key? Nothing. Just go away. I'm busy here. You heard him. Beat it. Does he, like, some sort of rite of passage give a key hey to every there, new person boy. here? You miss me? See if we I can help you. escape together. Is it TV time already? However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? Just politics. Cabinet. Mmm, moral quandary. I kind of want to give the key to the orderly because it seems like the right thing to do. Then again, I do not want to mess with Victor's ass. Dude's got scars on him for a reason. Uh, I, I'm giving you the key, dude. I, uh, found this key. Huh, looks like a door key. Hey, you shouldn't have this. I better hang on to it. You're welcome. Hmm. The key didn't go to that. The lock's too new. I mean, I don't have the key at all, but I'm still investigating. You. Yeah, cabinet. Definitely went to the cabinet, because it's not letting me mess with the cabinet. Hello! I'm ready for my pill. Hey, uh, I was wondering about. It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't. It's not time for meds either. Beat it. Not even my Flintstone gummies? Probably to this gate. Open. Can I open it? No, I cannot. Now I'm worried about what John's gonna think of me that I gave away his party favor. My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local sky trade depot. Politicians Wasn't that me? usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Ooh. I thought you and the mayor were friends. <laughs> we were Peter supporting his campaign. Uh, I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. 
mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm Film at 11. Find your drugs. <laughs> expose your corruption. Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. You do? Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicky Vale. Of course. After her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait. <laughs> you know that Vicky is a woman? You know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can your revenge just like you got your revenge on Copplepot? Publicly Maybe. and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. True. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. <laughs> I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. On TV and or in I my sleep? Tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. Hmm. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. He did After deserve everything it. Everything Oswald has done to me. Yeah, I'm kind of glad it happened because he deserved it. Am I glad to see you embracing those feelings? They're very natural. It's kind of ready to be a, a dark like night. You, who clearly takes after his father. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham, Victoria Arkham. What? How European you of her. You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. Makes they sense. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Ugh. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. A dark story Pray we're twisting. Can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Or nothing not like her. her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. <laughs> the Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I uh, can... Assume I can take care of that. Dramatic. And they all know but what's going on. It's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But uh, what's one favor between friends? Status sure. quo. One favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. All right, tell you what. I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz! Talking to an Hello, insane person. Zaz. Both what of the them. hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. Skin feels like it's itching. 
burning. Need to, need to get rid of it. Dude, you better go. Stop. Someone give me a sedative. You're holding Run, one. Zap Tracy. him. Run. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I gotta stop this fight. I'm freaking Batman. Oh. Order, Lise. I'd like to order, like, some sedative. Man. At least you're enjoying it. Uh oh. <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Did I do a bad? Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Which one? And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. Stopping it. I mean, John technically started it, but I tried, I tried to, to help. The, the whole thing was the sick game. You would understand if you were there. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Yay! Seems you have a visitor. My best friend! Alfred. Ah, oh, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. It's Dr. not safe Leland, here. You know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Might be a different world if I got therapy a long time ago, actually. Probably should have kept that key, though. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. What's that about? <laughs> well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's Batman why it's suit Batman's on. turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Uh, Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then it'll be too late. Duh. Maybe Nothing. you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. Thank you, Harvey. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Mm -hmm. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. 
I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. We had a sleepover! A friend wouldn't have done that. Harvey, listen to me. I know what you think happened, but Selena and I are just friends. Period. Don't tell me what I think happened! You're a goddamn liar. You're two-faced! Oh, we better hang up the Bruce. phone. Bruce! We're done talking. Yeah, you don't care about us anymore. We put you in office! What's going on here? Never a good idea when people stop our car. Are our windows bulletproof? That's not bulletproof, Alfred. Well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Technically, they don't need a I warrant. Oh my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Like police officers. They suspect anything, they're allowed to confiscate and keep Come anything on, they want they the find in your possession. Up. Get back to your car. <sighs> of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Huh? Showing your face in public like this? Nothing. Not, Not saying smart. anything. You're provoking me. I'm not going to be provoked. Nothing to say, huh? They should lock you up. Oh, Why aren't God. our windows tinted? Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Uh-oh. Where to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded. Hmm? Uh, well armed? What do you say? I'll give you a BB gun. They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Here. Money talks. It's everything I have. Okay. Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. That seemed very staged. Uh. What do you mean, you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news, yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Uh. You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Partially. Yeah? Nothing even really happened. Not like he thinks, anyway. I'd rather not die for something I didn't even do. That's <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> uh... You understand, don't you? Yeah. I, uh... We should leave, too. I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Need to take a vacation. Rachel Ghoul Ghoul's calling. Seriously, we should just go visit Ra's al Ghul, get some See more training. Around. Good luck oh. with all of this. I regret just staying friends with you now. We need to take a trip to Central City. 
Let Barry handle some of this. Because right now it's coursing through my veins. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. It is. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. <sighs> well, that helped me, Alfred. Help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce, you look awful. Thanks. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vell's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the back computer. See if it's mutated me? I'll make the preparations. I'd like the first dose to go to me, second dose to go to Two-Face. Here's my DNA before the incident. Mm hmm This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. That should do it. Really? I was just guessing. And why can't we cure other people? Is it because we don't have their DNA? Let's do a cotton swab test on the whole city. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. <laughs> no, it will not. Use the antidote. Okay. Oh, right between the sharpie. I'm glowing. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? Same first thing we do first, every I night, Alfred. What Vicky Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <laughs> woman trying to get the scoop on you pretending to care which is why I pushed her away at she every turn you I never trusted I her I never trusted her it was always something off your instincts are very rarely wrong sir she was playing me the entire time breaking me down she wanted me in Arkham she wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No That's offense what I'm saying. intended toward your recent time there, of course. Well... He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. Let's be talking her sleep. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. That's Perfect. cool. Thank you, Lucius. Purple Thank disco you. ball. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. 
Bruce. Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Yeah, we've had enough acupuncture for one day. I like that they're shedding a little bit of light on the Arkham family. I mean, with a, a, a city... Well, not a city, but with an asylum named Arkham, it makes sense that maybe a family established it. A good family, and they're hardly ever talked about in other continuities. I'm inside the Vale House. And it doesn't look like a happy home. This is... Not much is in my control, so let's just take one step at a time. Oh, God. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it. Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Oh, please! Don't! Icky Vicky! These people took care Syringe. of you! Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Maybe she's insane. Simply because I had seen this game before, I had memories a little bit of what was going to go on throughout the series, and I knew Vicky was up to no good, so obviously I didn't trust her to see if that would change anything. Didn't really make a difference. And I've seen a little bit of Season 2 as far as commercials go, and I have high hopes for John Doe, so I'm not going to necessarily push him away. It's a letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. Oh. Where's the boy? We're gonna have to search the house. Her oh, eyes are gone. Oh! Stabbed out. God, That's please disturbing. stop! Please stop zooming in! There's the there's the needle point right there's there. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Okay. We're gonna play connect the dots now. Neck wound plus needle equals carnage. Huh? Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Yeah, and she's 3D printed inside of my mask for some reason. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Perhaps she's angry that they kept adopting? Don't know why she would be upset about that. Lord knows she has plenty of things to be upset about. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. What something is it? Thrown. Nothing I can see. Dinner's still on the table. It's clean. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Maybe that's Vicky's hair. She had a knife. She was preparing dinner. She fought back. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Now, what prompted her to fight back? I guess maybe she knew more about Vicky than we thought they might? The blood trail leads to the pantry. Alfred uh... found Mr. Vale. Alive. No. No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. And there's the company logo we need. Looks like a company logo. Yeah. Branding. Oh. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, 
Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Maybe not a happy family? Maybe they were bad foster parents, and she was beaten with that belt as well? The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously Ugh. some sort of vendetta. <laughs> Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Yeah, more than likely, it's the little boy. I know Vicky was a minor character in other continuities, but they didn't have no. to do this to her in this one. They could have given the identity of Crazy Lady Arkham to anybody. Made a whole brand new character. You don't have to rewrite everybody's past just to make some sort of weird, messed up continuity. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Maybe Vicky didn't have a vendetta with the boy? <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. This poor kid. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. He's a foster kid, and his foster parents were murdered. Oh, come on. You're going to be all right, kid, but you're going to turn it's into gonna Batman. Okay. You're going to be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. Can we adopt him? This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. To punishment? See, that does help me. Thank you. I don't know the state of the foster parents, but the current state doesn't warrant anything they might have done in the past. That's... That's a bad noise. Get down. No! Duck and cover! Drone! Well, hello, Batman. What a Cobble snot! To see you. Ten one. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little bat traps all over the city, but I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. Ah! Oh! We're bulletproof, but the kid's not. We really should do something. Batarang away! I missed. Oh, we got our new Digibot. EMP, no worky. 
Nice, kid! Uh-oh. What about our new flashbang? Sweet. Well, you probably should have told the kid to close his eyes. It's gonna do retinal damage. Uh, good job. Nice work, kid. Seriously. Robin, I need one. Don't look! Don't look. No! Why didn't you close the door? Come on. Uh, uh, emotion. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. <sighs> You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. That was very Christopher Robin of you. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. And you saved me. And if I wasn't being hunted, both identities, I'd take you back to the mansion. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Tell them. Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who is the boy then? Uh, he lives that here. That boy was the Vale's adopted son. According to the papers I found, they were receiving a pretty significant stipend. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Yeah, why our tech didn't work. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Commissioner? Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. I brought you here. <laughs> I'm glad you did that. Which leads to another point. I feel like a bystander in this universe. I love the detective work, but I don't feel like I get enough control here. Not a lot of division between cutscenes and gameplay either. So my commentary tends to bleed into... And so your bat stunner just didn't work. Stuff like this. That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, play me baseball. the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get See? a closer look at you. Good to have him in house now. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Well, our tech is Wayne Tech, and Penguin is in Wayne Tech now. Electricity conductor. Everything looks functional. It should have worked. And yet? EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. We should have analyzed the drone further. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. But that sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Now, that might be true, but I really needed you here. Without that strobe grenade of yours, I might have been toast. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. 
That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? But For why? Now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. Uh, but if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to it. Hmm. Let's turn the I'm tables. I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. The underground. These efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better uh... purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Is there any way we could have Wayne has not put him in office? To evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. <laughs> You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared, paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Yeah. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way. If we go in as Batman, he will probably change his favorable view of Batman and Batman being viewed as a person who's trying to protect Bruce Wayne didn't work with Vicky going in as Bruce I couldn't get it to him at all as Bruce every other time I tried and I like being Batman more so. tonight Batman saves Bruce Wayne yes about bloody time <laughs> Don't screw this up, Harvey. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Uh... Bit of a strange place to hang out, isn't it, Dent? Batman. Oh, you scared the hell out of me. Well, it's good to see you. <laughs> I was just telling someone how much I'd love to get you on my payroll. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? You're not gonna break my legs, are you? No. <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. Calm down, Dent. I just wanna talk. Sounds good to me. I'll admit, I'm surprised to see you helping Wayne. Seems kinda... small potatoes for you. Maybe you haven't seen the news, but he hasn't been the most upright citizen lately. Why should I do anything to help him? Uh... To save yourself! Uh. You're losing your mind, and everyone can see it, Dent. You wanna save me? I protect everyone. So it seems. I guess I do owe you one. Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. Put down the quarter. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Hey, man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's like, what a leader does. Is she like to break his legs now? I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. Uh. I don't care what your end goal was. Even one innocent life is too high a cost. Then you're thinking too small. 
I doubt the police would see it that way. There has been some conflict with the police, that's true. Like Gordon. Oh, he really wasn't happy when I went over his head to get the location of the drug stockpile. But I had him taken care of. Taken care of? <laughs> what did knew you say about Gordon? I knew the commissioner coming in there was a bad idea. Where is he? Now, hang on, Batman, hang on. I had to make an example of him. To get people to respect... Gordon is on Gotham's side, Harvey. He's fighting for this city, too. Batman, I'm sorry. It's like I told you. I... Crime Alley. They took him to Crime Alley! Does everyone go there to get their dirty business taken care of? And here I thought we could work together. Yeah, I knew it was gonna go downhill. <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. What the hell is this? Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is doing- Anarchy will drive people to do dangerous things. Like me, breaking some noses. Batman! What a mess. Thank you, Save Batman. Save the thanks, and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? We already Just know they went it. over his head. Come on. Let's hear it. Calm down, Gordon. Uh, calm down, he says. Two of my own officers were just about to execute me. A whole department of rats, and you're pointing a finger at me. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. <laughs> Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive, and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Yeah. How very Nazi Execution of him. Execution and martial law. I know. There's no saving him this time, Batman. And there's no world in which he manages to set this right. Uh, uh, everyone can be saved. I don't saved. believe that. Everyone can be saved. You said it yourself. He's trying to help Gotham. He's just lost. He's little more than lost. He's off the rails. I mean, you have to see that. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. Can we get you in a bat suit? Uh, take back the You speedy. know your officers, Jim. Take the people you trust and start hobbling Dent's army. Get your precinct back. <clears throat> you make it sound easy. No, it won't be. But if anyone can do it, it's you. You're trusted. Yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. <laughs> Me too. Lucius, what's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He's somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God. It's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? And he crit He got the tech! Sir, are you alright? No, Two we're not. Attacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. You're creating another choice. Ah, don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Lucius is not at Wayne Enterprises anymore, so... They're both at Wayne Manor. 
It's another choice of being Batman and being Bruce Wayne. Oh, another chance to bloody my knuckles with Cobblepot snot. But I'm going to Wayne Manor. I'm going home. Understood. See you soon. Not one step further. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Alfred. Now oh, come on, Al. Put the rifle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Much. Somehow, I don't believe you. At least we still have our drone. Penguin is still hacking my tech. Guess I'll be doing this the old-fashioned way. Yeah, it worked for 1960s Batman. Of course, he was busy dancing the night away instead of dealing with stuff like this. Woo! Told you to back off. You again. <laughs> the greatest phrase any I villain could say. We talked about this. The time for talking is over. And so is your reign of terror. So, how does this end? I want to destroy this house, and you want to stop me. <laughs> I can't imagine this is going to go well for either of us. Mm -mm. No good choice here. Fear tactic! That's what I thought. Now get out of here before I have you booked for obstruction of justice. You stand in my way. You stand in the way of the law. Yeah, since when does the law bring heavy ordinance to a civilian home? I mean, it's been a few decades since they've done that. Whoop. Finally! You need more than this, Harvey. I know. Oh, the classic two-face gun! No. Kind of a Tommy gun. Explosive slugs. <laughs> Fancy. You don't have any of those in that little belt of yours. I've got plenty. Not only does it hold my pants up, it does work. Where'd you pull that out of? Finally, get some gameplay. Whoop. Yeah, just try and hide, Batman. Let's see how that works out for you. He's destroying my banisters and buttresses. We gotta do something before he pulls out a bazooka. Oh! I am the terror that flaps in the night. Oh! That was my leg. No! The bat's mine. <laughs> <laughs> this won't make you a hero. Use your head, Harvey. Killing me won't make you a hero. Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah! This old man needs to die. Ooh. Come on, that was just like three total shots your you've head taken. Or your heart. We're gonna need to shoot that quarter. Come on. What's that sound? What the <laughs> The cinematic no, bat attack! Uh oh, we finally done it. He's full on Two Face. Nothing I could do to stop it. Only thing to do now is let it happen. How are you so freaking strong? You didn't get a dip in a chemical bath. Finishing blow it is. Yeah! You don't understand.
understand. Need a Ricola? Without me, Gotham is doomed. Who will stop Lady Arkham? Oh. The Penguin. Don't you give up on me, Harvey. I know you're still in there. I still believe in Harvey Dent. That's... That's good to hear. Will it make a difference, though? Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Well, I can take care of all this. Just need to figure out what to do with him. Arkham? All the innocent lives he's responsible for. He should be locked up in Blackgate Prison. But that broken mind of his will probably only get worse in there. You know what to do. Dan is too dangerous and too damaged to be kept in some holding cell at Blackgate. You have to get him into Arkham. They might actually be able to help him in there. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, you stay safe out there, all right? You Thanks, too, Jim. Jim. And yet we were going to tear down Arkham and build a new facility. Now we're just adding more. And what are we going to do about penguins? Lucius, Al, what's going on? Bruce, the computer! I've, I've been doing everything I can. But I can't keep him out. It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now, Bruce. All of your bat tech is linked to this computer. We don't need it! If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. We'll even lose our voice synthesizer. Episode 4, Guardian of Gotham. I really enjoyed that episode. Did you promise Joker a favor? Me and 49.5% of players agreed to owe Joker a favor after being released from Arkham. Literally a 50-50 split. Did you go along with Joker's plan? No, I chose against it. Which is... Alright, not my book. How did you get past the Enforcer's Barricade? A little bit more on the side of money in terms of this situation. Along with about half of the people who've played this. Did you deal with Harvey as Bruce or Batman? I chose Batman and neither one of them worked out that great. Did you stop Harvey or Oswald? Me and the latter amount of people chose to stop Harvey. I mean, it felt more poignant to stop Harvey and Al and Lucius were there. Really, you need to take care of your problems at home, you know. A problem at work, you know, that's no big deal. But a problem at home, that's a problem. And I thought I recognized Stephen Blum's voice. He was the guy I gave that key to. Just reading the people on the left-hand side. These are my official stats. Well, there wasn't a next time on Batman segment. But we all know where this is leading. Two forces of equal and opposite are going to meet in the middle and cause a whole lot of collateral damage and probably some emotional damage. But it seems like everybody in this episode is getting some sort of emotional damage. Batman, that little boy, Alfred, me, you, it's all there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. And I'll see all you dudes in the next one. Bye.